Hi guys, um, back again. I said I'd do a, probably do another video today, so I thought I'd just try and sneak one in quickly. Um, like I said, Cool Ranch Dressing had a very British sounding album, or English sounding. So I thought I would do something American, um, but then I thought, what sounds American? And I thought, country and western music. Um, but I don't... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I don't um don't really have any. Um, oh no, uh there we go. Um, um Johnny Cash at San Quentin. Um so I thought I would go to the other extreme and just do rap music. Because nobody seems to be shown any rap or hip hop or anything. Well not that I've seen anyway, so um, first up, we have Notorious B.I.G. and Ready to Die. Uh, sorry, this is Life After Death. Um, great album. Uh, Hypnotise, Kick in the Door, Mo Money, Mo Problems. Just loads of good songs on there. Another big album. Ready to die. <laughs> Everybody's got a love of baby with an afro. So yeah, give me the loop. Great song. Juicy. Um, J5. Jurassic 5 quality control. This is what these kind of referred to for a little while as hippie hop. Um, yeah, that's cool. I kind of like the needle playing the grooves on the wood. Kind of gives you an idea of what it's all about. I'm just going to kind of go through these quite quickly. Another J5 single, the quality control single. Um, this is the one that's the kind of must that has obviously Concrete Schoolyard on it, which is probably their most famous song and kind of essential. Essential, really. NWA single, Express Yourself. Again, another essential. Um, first Eminem album, Slim Shady LP. This was back when he was still good. <laughs> I think as soon as he started taking himself too seriously, it was kind of all went downhill. I don't have a second one though, actually. Uh, I don't know. Marshall Mathers. I have Eminem show. Um, Buster Rhymes. Everybody's got to like Buster Rhymes. This, um, well, I don't, I don't know what to say about this one. <laughs> Doctor Doom, first come, first served. Um, this is Cool Keith. In one of his many guises. Um, yeah, in fact, this might oh, get a link in here. Album coming soon, um, Cool Keith as Robbie Analog, which would lead me on to the next, next, the next album here actually, which is um, Marissa from the Wu Tang Clan and Bobby Digital. Robbie Analog, Bobby Digital. This is a good one. I forgot about that. And carry bag. Which is cool. Um, I kind of love the cover of this one because it reminds me of all those kind of old black exploitation soundtracks. You know, like I've got um, Curtis Mayfield, you know, Superfly and Shaft. I can't remember what else. I've got Petey Wheatstraw. 
I went through a phase of collecting black exploitation stuff. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, Wu Tang Forever. To be honest, it's been a long time since I've listened to a lot of these albums, so I can't remember exactly what all of them are like. Uh, Woo Chronicles. Killer Bees, The Swarm, Volume 1. You know, this one, yeah, this one should need no introduction as well. This is probably their most famous and probably their best album as well. Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. It's just like loads of good songs on this. Um, my favourite probably be in track number two actually, but I'm probably not allowed to say things like that on YouTube because yeah, because I'm white. Raekwon, only built for Cuban links. Big Baby Jesus, or whatever he liked to be called at the time. ODB, obviously now six feet under. I love the story about him being wanted by the FBI, I think it was, and turning up and doing a gig and then having to leave halfway through because the police were catching up with him. So, kind of rock and roll legend, I suppose. Um, Method Man. Seek More Method Man. TKL 2000, Judgment Day. Is it? Liquid Swords. I kind of thought this was quite funny. Song titles do not appear in order, which doesn't really make finding them very useful. But so that's all my American sounding albums. So. Uh... Yeah, well actually, uh, what I'm listening to at the moment Sorry about that is, um, I'm obviously going through a bit of a kind of gong phase at the moment David Allen, now is the happiest time of your life Which is cool, it's kind of spacey, a bit freaky in times, but Good album so anyway, 